Hey, what's up guys? Diamond Gamer Pro here today and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to view your Apple Music listening stats for free. So, I know a lot of people that listen to music all the time. I'm sure the majority of the world does. And so if you guys ever want to see what kind of music you listen to the most, what artists, what albums, what songs, I have the perfect app for you. So for those of you that use Apple Music like I do, the app that we're going to be using today is called SND.Wave. I'm going to go in depth into this app, where to find it and everything like that. So I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so from here is a screen recording of my iPhone and as you guys can see we can just jump right into the app store and the app is called SND.Wave. You can simply search it up and I'll also leave a link in the description that will bring you directly to this page of the app store where you can download the app. As you guys can see, it's only 26.9 megabytes, a very small app because it's not taking up a lot of storage, it's just analyzing your music. We have the previews right here, and if you scroll down even more, you can see that it actually has good reviews. I'd like to point out this video is not sponsored whatsoever, I'm just a big fan of the app and I want to share it with all of you. So, as you guys can see, there is one in-app purchase for the pro version of the app, which adds a couple more features. I purchased it, and personally... I think it's definitely worth it. However, it's completely optional and it's still really functional and really good without it. So I'm going to open up the app right now. And as you guys can see already, it shows my hours of music played and my top artists. We have Kanye, X, Uzi. You guys can take out, take, check out your top albums as well. Your top songs, top genres, recently played songs, some old favorites, and your more most recently added songs. So this app is filled with features. It, there is so much to take in here. So as you guys can see, if we just go and click on Kanye West, we can view some more stats specifically for Kanye. He's my most listened to artist of my entire library. We can see the top songs and top albums by listening time. I have his entire discography, yet I specifically listen to Leondi the most. We can look at the albums by playtime to see how many minutes we've listened to each album for. Yondi, of course, taking the cake over everything else. And your artist size over time. How many songs the artist has in your library. And it has increased a lot from October 18th, 2018 to June 18th, 2020. It was the last time I added a song. And if we go and exit out of here now, and you scroll down even more, we can see our top albums. If we just go to Bad Vibes Forever, for example, we can see a lot of stats here, like the total time played, the play count, and like the songs played when I discovered it. So if you guys click on the little tabs, a lot of them have additional info, like the explicit content, 60%, you can click on it and see that it's exactly 15 out of 25 songs, or just look at the 15 songs. Last played June 29th, which at the time of recording, it was zero days ago, it's today. You can look at the songs by play count, similar to the, similarly to the way that we did the albums, Heart Eater taking the cake, and you can share the album as your most played song, and you can do the same thing with artists as well. And we scroll down, we can see our top songs. My top played song here is Last Name. As you guys can see, you can look at a lot more info for this song as well, just like you could with the artists and the albums. You can take a look at a lot of info in this app, and I really like it. If we go to Mala, for example, we can see some other cool things here too. So... If we scroll down even more, you can look at some full library stats, a lot of stats for your entire library, like your total songs, the length of your library, explicit content, as you guys can see, you can look at the percentage, the amount of songs you have, and one of my favorite sections is the old favorites. It'll look at your most played songs, and also look at the last time you listened to them, to find some songs that you loved to listen to in the past, but maybe haven't in quite a while. I love to use this section because it's really helpful when I want to find a song that I haven't listened to in a long time. And that's going to be it for today's video. I know it wasn't really long, but it was more just a quick display of this app and what it can do. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what other things you'd like to see on the channel, and subscribe. Peace out.